What's up everyone, Nars here for The Daily Fix. On today's lineup, Ubisoft has reportedly greenlit development of a new mainline Splinter Cell game, Xbox announces its 20th anniversary event, and Dead by Daylight's Pinhead is now an NFT, and everyone is really mad about it. Let's go. Tom Clancy fans may finally get a stealth series mainline Splinter Cell game after waiting eight years since the previous core entry, Blacklist. A report from VGC claimed multiple development sources have revealed a new Splinter Cell in its early phase of production, with a small chance of the game's announcement coming in 2022. The project has apparently been greenlit as part of an effort to appease frustrated Tom Clancy and Splinter Cell fans who have been less than happy with Ubisoft's treatment of the brand over the last decade. This is interesting considering the only other detail provided was a report that the new Splinter Cell game would be developed outside of Ubisoft's flagship Montreal studio. The irony here is that Ubisoft Montreal developed key Splinter Cell games, including the original Chaos Theory and Conviction, with the most recent game Blacklist developed by Ubisoft Toronto. It's unclear why the reins of the next mainline Splinter Cell game would be put in the hands of a studio outside of Ubisoft's flagship store, but then again, it could be a case of Ubisoft Toronto taking the reins after the success of Blacklist. We can only hope that whichever studio is developing the new entry in the stealth series is able to create a fitting successor to Splinter Cell's legacy. Otherwise, this whole tactic designed to appease fans would have done nothing more than pour gasoline on the fire. Now, we don't have any idea what the new game will look like, but one can hope that it takes some of the multiplayer versus co-op modes from Chaos Theory, maybe Sprinkle a little bit of the cover system with the Panther-esque stealth style from Conviction. And ooh, a dash of the plethora of tools at your disposal in Blacklist. Oh, chef's kiss. Nonetheless, should the rumor prove to be true, fans will be cautiously waiting to see exactly what kind of game this new Splinter Cell will be. Personally, I just want more story development of Sam Fisher. I miss him so much. Moving on, Microsoft announced on the Xbox Wire blog the Xbox anniversary celebration to mark 20 years of Xbox. They have also made it very clear that no new games will be announced during the show. Bummer. But while there won't be any new announcements, Microsoft has a special anniversary broadcast prepared that will be taking a look back at 20 years of Xbox history. The announcement comes alongside a roadmap for the next three months of Xbox Game Pass with Age of Empires 4 to be released on October 28th, followed by Minecraft on November 2nd, Forza Horizon 5 on November 9th, the Game of the Year edition of Flight Simulator on November 18th, and finally ending the year with Halo Infinite on December 8th. There are a ton more goodies included in Xbox Game Pass between now and December, so if there was ever a good time to get a three-month subscription, it would be now. Like right now. And with the announcement that Microsoft is partnering with Adidas to bring a console-inspired sneaker to the celebration, it seems Xbox is going to have one heck of a birthday party. The anniversary celebration broadcast takes place on November 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Man, one more year and Xbox is able to drink. And finally, Dead by Daylight's Pinhead is now an NFT and some are really upset about it. The Dead by Daylight character model for Pinhead has been licensed as an NFT by the company Boss Protocol, who states that it has the official license to create NFTs based on Hellraiser using the in-game models that were created for Dead by Daylight. The company went on to say the arrival of Pinhead on the blockchain comes as part of a unique generated collection strictly limited to 10,000 NFTs across a range of rarity models. Purchasing the NFT will also come with a copy of Hellraiser DLC for Dead by Daylight, though it's not quite clear as to who exactly will receive this or how. Boss Protocol also confirmed that the purchase of the Pinhead NFT would not unlock additional exclusive content within Dead by Daylight. 
but mentioned that certain pinhead NFTs will unlock access to Hellraiser collectibles and all of them will entitle their owners on a future date to additional NFTs like the Lament configuration box at no cost. The FAQ page went on to state the Pinhead NFT will also grant access to new content unrelated to Dead by Daylight in the future. For instance, the Pinhead NFT will allow owners to unlock the character in other games that are now in development. This development comes as a surprise and shock to many as the merge for NFT and gaming has been met with tension as Steam recently banned certain games that operated using NFT and cryptocurrency as a function in-game while Epic Games Store welcomed NFT games after the Steam ban. All in all, the future of NFT and cryptocurrencies in gaming looks like it's yet to be determined, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. And that was your Games Fix for today, October 19th, 2021. Will you be getting a Pinhead NFT? Are you excited for the next Splinter Cell games? Let me know in the comments. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.